Hi, this is Cesar Sarko, Security Technical Consulting Engineer. In this video, I'll show you how to perform the upgrade of a Cisco Identity Services Engine deployment through the CLI. We will be upgrading a 4-node deployment from ICE 3.2 version to ICE 3.3 version. This video assumes you have configured a repository on the ICE deployment in where you have allocated the upgrade bundle file and that you have validated that all your software is working stable by running the health checks from ICE GUI. The upgrade process must begin with the upgrade of the secondary administration node. Open the CLI of this node and use the command application upgrade cleanup. You will receive an output reporting either cleanup not required or cleanup successful. Then proceed by using the command application upgrade prepare along with the upgrade bundle file and repository name. This command will download the upgrade bundle file to the node, unbind it, and verify the signature for it. Please note, this process downloads the upgrade bundle only into the node where the command is used, so don't expect the file to be replicated to the other nodes within the deployment. Once you have received the message, preparation successful, you are ready to trigger the upgrade on the node by using the command application upgrade proceed. This command triggers the actual upgrade process. Now, the node will perform all changes needed to upgrade to the new ICE version. Upgrading a node by the CLI method provides you with a step-by-step -step visibility of the different changes which are made on the node to complete the upgrade. Bear in mind, the estimated time for the upgrade process on admin monitoring nodes is up to 4 hours, and estimated time for the upgrade process on PSN nodes is up to 2 hours. After all upgrade steps have been completed on the node, this will reboot two times to apply the changes. In case there is a problem while the upgrade is ongoing, the node will roll back the upgrade and provide a reason for this failure, which you can share with Cisco Tech when opening a support ticket. Upon node restarts, use the command show version. Make sure the new ICE version is displayed on the output of this command. Be aware that if using the command show application status ICE, you could receive some outputs like application status information is not available, application ICE not installed, or identity services engine upgrade is in progress. Eventually, the output of this command will show the services initializing so you can monitor all services getting to the running status. When the secondary administration node has got all its services to the running status, you may start the upgrade process on the PSN nodes, either one at a time or all of them simultaneously. This will depend on the feasible downtime you can have during the maintenance window. Commands to upgrade the PSN nodes are exactly the same ones which were used with the secondary administration node. Secondary nodes will be deregistered from existing deployment and registered to the newly upgraded node as part of the upgrade process. By the time all secondary nodes have been upgraded, proceed to upgrade the primary administration node. When all nodes have been registered into the new ICE deployment, you may swap the admin roles to keep your initial personas order and then install a patch into the deployment. Thanks for watching.